This last weekend, the Golden Master, or proposed final build for iOS 11, leaked to the public, seemingly intentionally by a disgruntled employee. The unprecedented, massive leak leaves very little left to the imagination ahead of Tuesday's event at Apple Park. Apple Insider will be there live at the Steve Jobs Theater. But before the event gets underway, let's bring you up to speed on what you should expect. The 7S line will be skipped this year, jumping straight into the 8 and 8 Plus models which will respectively have 2 and 3 gigabytes of RAM. They're expected to be in stores next Friday, September 22nd. You can now bank on the new 10th anniversary iPhone to be named iPhone X and also containing 3 gigabytes of RAM. It will also feature an A11 chip with two high performance cores and four high efficiency cores. The iPhone X will replace Touch ID with new facial recognition technology called Face ID. The setup for Face ID was found in the iOS 11 GM, prompting users to turn their head while facing the phone to register their face. This will be useful for iPhone unlock, iTunes and App Store purchases, and Safari autofill. Face unlock will also feature attention detection, meaning the screen won't dim while you're looking at it. The iPhone X will also feature an emojis, which uses facial detection to detect a massive list of facial expressions and then inputs those onto emojis. The edge-to-edge -edge display will have a notch at the top for the facial recognition cameras and earpiece. The iOS 11 GM reveals that battery, cell, and Wi-Fi information will be shown in the top right corner, with a larger battery icon covering the rest while charging. Time will be shown in the top left corner of the screen, and will be housed in a red glyph while screen recording, or green while on a call. The iPhone X is also expected to have wireless charging, and an edge-to-edge -edge OLED True Tone display. Apple will also ditch the home button, instead using a gesture at the bottom of the iPhone X display for returning to the home screen and multitasking. One thing we don't know for sure is whether it will be named iPhone X or iPhone X. In the past, Apple pronounced its Mac operating system as OS X, not OS X. A larger side button will gain new accessibility settings, like adjusting the speed of double and triple click. Use cases will be, for example, double clicking it to show Apple Pay cards, or holding the button to invoke Siri. There will also be a new feature called Portrait Lighting, which simulates depth by utilizing different lighting effects like contour, natural, studio, and stage lighting. 17 new wallpapers have also leaked, with many using a black theme, helping to save battery life with OLED display technology. If you hope to get an iPhone X at launch, you may be disappointed. There are rumors that it may not debut alongside the iPhone 8 next week, and could wait until October. Even if it does launch on September 22nd, however, the iPhone X is expected to be significantly constrained. Analyst Ming Shu Kuo says Apple is currently producing less than 10,000 units per day. Beyond the iPhone X and iPhone 8, the iOS 11 GM also reveals that the Apple TV will be updated with a new version supporting 4K resolutions and HDR content. 4K streaming will require at least 15 megabit per second download speeds, and it'll display at 2160p resolution at 60 frames per second. The 4K device will be powered by a 3-core 810X Fusion processor. It will also have 3 gigabytes of RAM and support HDR formats, Dolby Vision, and HDR10. The Siri remote is also rumored to see an upgrade, as items in the iOS 11 code reveal support for haptic vibration feedback. The iOS 11 GM also reveals a new LTE-connected Apple Watch Series 3 with blush gold and ceramic gray color options. The digital crown is also shown to have new colors on the side, including a red dot in one image of an LTE-capable model. The LTE service will also use the same number as your iPhone. The iOS 11 GM also hints at new AirPods, with the only noticeable difference being the charging indicator being moved to the outside of the charging case but it's still unknown what internal changes could be made. Finally, iOS 11 suggests a 7th generation iPod Touch could add Face ID. It's also possible that Apple is just future-proofing the code if it decides to bring facial recognition to its portable media player. Let us know in the comment section below which leaks you're excited about, and be sure to visit appleinsider.com Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern where we'll have live coverage and analysis of Apple's presentation. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.